Hey, what's up everyone, and welcome back to Andranomy Toys, and today's review, we have an awesome Dragon Ball Z collectible like always, and this is the 4th figure release of the Dragon Ball Z Dimension of Dragon Ball, and we have here, Super Saiyan Broly by Mega House, and this figure was released in Japan on late July of 2015. Alright everyone, Broly is the 4th figure released and Mega House had released for the brand of Dimension of Dragon Ball and I did found surprise why Mega House chose Broly instead of other different characters and I felt it was too early to release Broly and I think they should have released other characters instead of but no matter what, Mega House did a good move on releasing Broly because he looks really awesome to be honest that's what matters the most since he's a popular character right and also for the accessories you are getting like one extra face replacement one necklace and the stand base like always and that's all the accessories you are getting Alright everyone, let's begin with the front view like always and let me tell you the good thing about this Broly that Mega House didn't make the pants baggy and is on the right side since many people were complaining at the beginning about the baggy issues it seemed like Mega House had fixed this problem by now and another good thing about this Broly the quality of the material of the body is made of PVC and for the pants it's made of fabric and that's the only thing in the entire statue just letting you know and also I want to warn you about the necklace it's made of plastic and if you're planning to exchange all the accessories into Broly, just be extra careful. Now let's look at the left side of Super Saiyan Broly and we could see the detail of the entire head sculpt looks okay and to be honest I have a little nitpick in the area of the hair sculpt it seemed like it looks very plain and needed more molding and more detail lines to make it look outstanding and I guess the painting of the hair it makes it look very plain you think but moving on I really enjoy the body structure of Broly a lot the artist who sculpted this Broly did a great job in sculpting all the muscle tones and the detail lines look fantastic and also the paint job looks very good as well and for the outfit looks well done made Now let's look at the back side of Super Saiyan Broly and here's a closer view of the hair. It doesn't look appealing in this angle, however I really like how Broly back muscle tone it looks well sculpted and you can see all the muscle definition from the back it looks amazing and also I really like the sculpting of Broly claw it's made of PVC it's not removable it has some nice detail lines and you can see some nice shading effect on the claw it looks nice and also for the boots it looks well sculpted as well. Let's look at the right angle and I was checking if this figure had some issues and to be honest I didn't like that you could see the crack lines around the hair that's kind of distracting when I was looking at it 
and also I found kind of hard to remove the face because I didn't want to force it and I couldn't damage the peg that is attached on the back of the face and also the material of the necklace is made of hollow plastic it's very fragile as well that's the only issue I found on this Broly but overall no matter what this Broly is a good PVC statue I did like the sculpting a lot and the paint job looks really awesome Alright everyone, here is the only two faces you're getting in this Broly, one with the smirking look and the other with the angry face. And to be honest, the detail of both faces, it looks well done made. And also, I'm gonna let you know, just be extra gentle when you exchange Broly face, but first you have to remove the piece of the hair on top and be gentle when you pull the parts because you don't want to damage the peg, but overall, it's up to you how you're gonna display it. Alright ladies and gentlemen, what do you think about the Dragon Ball Z DLD of Super Saiyan Broly by Mega House? And let me know what you think that Mega House are doing a good job on making these DLD figures. Yes or no, let me know and leave your comments below. Alright, let me tell you what I think about this Broly. And to be honest, I really did like this Broly a lot. Even I found little things I wasn't so happy about it. But I'm not gonna say this Broly looks bad. I'm not saying that. But honestly, he looks awesome to be honest. But I still am gonna support this line no matter what. And stay tuned for more videos of DOD are coming in the future. Alright everyone, I want to share you the comparison of the Ichiman Kuji with the DLD line. Both of them are almost in the same height as you're looking at it and you might ask me which is better and to be honest, I think the Ichiman Kuji looks more amazing in the way it have a better pose and the paint job looks way better than the DLD. However, I like the DLD as well and the way it looks more like in the anime, especially the face scope and the head have a little articulation and here's my answer which you should get. If you have a lot of money, then you go with the Ichiman Kuji. If you want to pay less, then you should get the DLT, but it's up to you.
Alright everyone, thanks for watching this review and if you are interested of this figure, highly recommend to shop on your online store and for any question you want to ask me anything about anime related, please leave your comments below and please support DLD Collectible Group on Facebook and Dragon Ball Universe. Alright people, let me give you my last words on the Dragon Ball Z DLD Super Saiyan Broly by Mega House. And to be honest with you, Broly is an amazing figure. The artist who made this did a good job on the sculpting. However, like I've been saying, the only problem I have is the hair sculpt. But other than that, everything looks great, especially the body sculpt looks awesome. And even the paint job looks fantastic as well. And also the pants of Broly are not that baggy and that's a good thing. Overall, I give this figure a A-. And I recommend anyone to pick this up. Okay, this is Andrew from Android Anime Toys. And I'll see you on the next Dragon Ball Z review.